Mysteries of the universe are colossal, some perhaps even stretch beyond our understanding. Still, humanity seeks new lengths, new advancements and new knowledge to achieve the impossible and someday understand everything there is. Artificial intelligence is being used extensively in science to accelerate research, make predictions, analyze data and model complex systems. In biology and genetics, artificial intelligence is being used to analyze massive amounts of genetic data to find patterns and predict diseases. Artificial intelligence is revolutionizing how science is done by enabling researchers to process and analyze vast amounts of data quickly and accurately, making predictions and designing new experiments and treatments. Our DNA is what allows us to be the distinctive and individual beings that we are, and is the driving force behind both the similarities and differences of each unique human. Because changes and random mutations within DNA are the driving forces behind both evolution and genetic diseases, researchers have spent countless dollars and hours attempting to uncover the mysteries hiding within the coding of our DNA. Studying mutations is a bit of a double-edged sword that has perplexed scientists for decades because of the paradoxical nature of evolution and disease. On one hand, Mutations within the genetic coding material are typically detrimental to function and disrupt the normal flow of body systems. So how can certain mutations affect the individual in such a positive way that entirely new species can be generated over time? This is a question that has plagued scientists for years, but it seems that an answer has finally been proposed. Research led by Jernay Uhl, a professor of molecular neuroscience with University College London, has put forward an answer to this question. The research team behind this revelation discovered a code hidden within the part of our genetic material known as repetitive genetic elements, which are DNA sequences that our cells can continually make many copies of. Over time, this repetition has included itself thousands of times in our genome, which is a phenomenon that is unique to the human species and has been shown to play a vital role in evolution. The repetitive elements can switch on and off, controlling which characteristics are presented in an individual allowing for the slow, continual evolution of the species as favorable traits are selectively chosen and propagated. The code that the research team found within these repetitive genetic elements could help to explain how these pieces of DNA are used to mitigate the potential disruptions of genetic mutations that could be favorable to the species. It works as a sort of molecular balancing act of positive and negative forces working through proteins to control whether mutations within repetitive elements remain and are slowly integrated into the DNA or are removed. If a mutation causes too much of the positive force, the negative force steps in and removes it, and vice versa. This complicated but harmonious process allows mutations to exist quietly in our genetic code, harmlessly accumulating further mutations until the inherent code is slightly altered enough that the repetitive element takes on a meaningful function, furthering evolution. In contrast, a genetic disorder is a mutation that happens rapidly, disrupting body systems as the affected code can no longer optimally interact with the unaltered elements of the genetic material. This research is groundbreaking as it helps to explain why evolution is such a long process occurring over an indefinitely long period of time. Our genes are not slowly changing in order to move towards evolution one code at a time, but rather operating under a facilitation and inhibition process that allows for fluid changes to be slowly integrated, providing that the balance between the associated genetic code is also present for maximum continued function. Despite the fact that the inherent mechanisms of disease and evolution are the same, researchers now understand a bit more about why evolution operates to effectively and successfully propel a species forward, while similar mutations occurring alone in an individual will result in discord and dysfunction. Artificial intelligence studies the human genome and finds unknown human ancestors. As amazing and wonderful as the human brain is, sometimes there are things that it simply cannot tell us about ourselves without a little extra help. One of the things that scientists rely on artificial intelligence for is extensive analysis of both human and animal genomes to determine relationships and attempt to track the pattern of evolution through the millennium. Recently, one of these artificial intelligence studies discovered the presence of a strange ghost population that predated the human species that we are today. The analysis, which was performed by artificial intelligence using machine learning technology, looked at eight of the current leading models of theorized human evolution and discovered traces of an unknown human ancestor that likely mated with the Homo sapiens of Asia and Oceania. 
This mysterious population of ancestors was hidden until now because the only thing remaining to hint at its presence are small, virtually indistinguishable fragments of DNA that remain interspersed within modern human DNA. And it was not until machine learning pointed it out to us that scientists were even aware of its presence. This unidentified ghost population appears to be a descendant of interbreeding between the Neanderthals and the Denisovans. Remarkably, the 90,000-year-old fossilized remains of a girl appearing to be the only example of the result of a first-generation mixing between a Neanderthal and Denisovan was discovered recently, leading scientists to wonder whether she was a forerunner to this newly identified ghost population. The Denisovans themselves were only discovered and catalogued as a species a decade ago, making these subsequent discoveries missing pieces to a very recent puzzle. Scientists have long understood that the early humanoid species mated with other species as they spread across the globe and encountered each other. Over time, these species gave rise to new species and then went extinct as the modern Homo sapiens evolved. However, identifying the smaller populations that arose from this, such as the unions between the Neanderthals and Denisovans, has proven exceedingly difficult. This recent artificial intelligence discovery, pointing to a distinct ancestor of both Neanderthal and Denisovan origins, has allowed scientists to begin to understand how introgressions between ancient species caused diversions in the human genome that allowed the painstaking evolution into the first modern-day Homo sapiens to occur. Artificial intelligence was able to make this discovery because of its ability to identify locations of high divergence in the human genome to indicate locations of potential introgressions between species and further compare the genetic material at these locations, a task that would be almost impossibly painstaking otherwise. This is only the latest in a series of examples demonstrating the usefulness of artificial intelligence in genetic research because of the ability to utilize machine learning to accurately analyze and compare millions upon millions of pieces of ancient DNA with the DNA of modern humans identifying patterns and connections that otherwise would have gone unnoticed. This has allowed scientists to begin the process of resolving some of the questions that have previously been left unanswered in order to piece together our ancient origins. Did our DNA come from space rocks? The building blocks of our DNA have been discovered in space rocks, begging the question, did our DNA come from space rocks? It's possible that cosmic impacts brought the ingredients needed to create life on Earth, DNA is made up of four vital ingredients. For years, scientists wondered if meteorites could have brought these ingredients to Earth. However, until now, only adenine and guanine had been detected, not thymine, cytosine, or uracil. Nucleobases come in two forms, called purines and pyrimidines. For a long time, only purines were seen in meteorites, and pyrimidines seemed to be missing in action. The main difference between the two is that purines are made from a hexagonal molecule fused with a pentagonal one, while pyrimidines are smaller and are made from just the hexagonal molecule. Scientists have now been able to find all the purines and pyrimidines that are in DNA and RNA in the meteorites that arrived on Earth. According to the astrochemist who led the study, Yasuhiro Oba, the presence of the five primary nucleobases in meteorites may have a contribution to the emergence of genetic functions before the onset of life on the early Earth. The methods used in this study to detect the nucleobases demonstrate the incredible scientific advancements that have been made in recent years. The researchers used techniques that were originally designed for genetic and pharmaceutical research that are able to detect nucleobases down to the range of parts per trillion. The techniques used were at least about 10 to 100 times greater in sensitivity than previous techniques to detect pyrimidines in meteorites. The samples analyzed in this study were from three carbon-rich meteorites that had been previously suspected of having the capability to host chemical reactions that created nucleobases. Although it's still unknown why purines were much more abundant in the meteorites than pyrimidines, one clue could be that purines contain a pentagonal ring called imidazole, while pyrimidines do not. Imidazole can behave as a catalyst to set off chemical reactions, which could explain why purines were so much more prevalent on these meteorites than pyrimidines. Whatever the reason for this discrepancy, one thing is for certain, this study could be a breakthrough in understanding how life formed on Earth. Although these discoveries are incredible, scientists have said that artificial intelligence can be dangerous if it is not developed, used, and controlled responsibly. 
Researchers have said that algorithms can perpetuate and amplify human biases if they are trained on biased data or designed with biased objectives. AI has the potential to automate many jobs, leading to significant job displacement and social inequality. Artificial intelligence can be used by malicious actors to launch cyber attacks, such as hacking and identity theft. Scientists and researchers who are involved in these studies have said that it's crucial to recognize these risks and take measures to mitigate them. This includes developing systems that are transparent, explainable, and unbiased. It also involves ensuring that AI development adheres to ethical principles and that regulations and laws govern their use. As long as artificial intelligence is developed and used with caution and responsibility, it can be a powerful tool that benefits society. When scientists were asked if artificial intelligence would take over, they said that it's very unlikely that artificial intelligence will take over humanity, saying that it's a tool created and controlled by humans, and its actions and decisions are determined by the algorithms and data it is programmed with. While AI has the potential to surpass human intelligence in specific tasks, it does not have the ability to become self-aware, conscious, or have human-like motivations. Moreover, ethical principles, regulations, and laws govern the development and use of artificial intelligence to ensure its safe and responsible use. AI development is progressing rapidly, but it's still a long way from becoming a self-aware and autonomous entity capable of taking over humanity. However, it's crucial to ensure that artificial intelligence is developed and used ethically, transparently, and for the benefit of society. We need to ensure that AI is aligned with human values and does not cause harm or violate privacy rights. As long as we develop and use AI with caution and responsibility, it is unlikely that it will take over humanity. When it comes to scientific discoveries, research possesses the unique ability to look at once forward and backward. As questions are answered about where we came from and how our ancestors came to be in the first place, we can apply this knowledge to the future and look towards ever bigger and brighter dreams and discoveries. So, what do you make of these incredible discoveries? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comments section below and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.